Welcome to the herd, nerd. Um, no, we're the, we're the nerd herd. Hey, Planet Popper here. And today I'll be showing you how to make a 3x3 three three piston trapdoor. Like that. Over here is the footprint for the trapdoor. As you can see, it is quite compact. The dimensions for it are 11 by 13 by 2, so it doesn't take up that much space. Okay, let's get building, shall we? Just over here. Uh, you start off by digging a 3x3 three three hole like that. And then get whatever building material you want to use and go, just go around the edges. Right, now on this side, do one out. This side, do three out. This side, do two out. And this side, do three out again. Then get your sticky pistons and put them in place. Two on there. Uh, that's just the basic bit set up. Uh, now we need to start getting power to the pistons. So here we put repeater, two ticks of delay, repeater here, line repeaters across here, and then just drag the redstone up and back. Drag the redstones here. This block will be our input block. Do the same for the other side. So one there, three. Of Three across like that and drag it back. Okay, let's just check. Yeah, that's working fine. Uh, now what we need to do is just get this piston here to have a one tick pulse applied to it so it spits a block out. Just put that there for now. Um, to do this, what you do, drag redstone like that. Two repeaters. This one on two ticks of delay. Get your piston there, block next to it, and then go behind it and put red uh, repeater there. So now if you watch that block, when it receives power, it spits it out to there. That's what you want. So all is well. Uh, after that's done that, we need this. Uh, we need a piston here to push a block into its way again. So to do that, all you do is two two repeaters, this one on two, that one on one, just wire it up. So after it's pushed uh, the block in its way, you want this one, to, uh, this piston to push out again, but stay pushed out. So to do that, you get a repeater, three ticks, repeat, miss uh, block, another repeater, and then a bit of redstone. Then drag the redstone out to here, get a piston there and a block there. Uh, I do this because the this uh, piston requires two different timings for when it opens and closes. So when it's opening it uses up these three ticks and then, then this one tick but when it's closing it just uses this uses this one tick which is what we need. So now if we just check it Yep, pushes them both out, fills the middle, and then pull them back. Yep, pulls it back to there, and then back into this slot. The uh, last thing we need to get working is the double piston, the double piston extender, to receive uh, to pull back this block that's in the middle here. To do that, what I do is block here, torch on the back. Red, uh, two repeaters, a piston, block there, then get a line of redstone here, 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 another line of three repeaters, knock this block out, put a repeater there, drag some wool across here, two pieces of redstone and a repeater there. And then on this side it is repeater there and repeater going back in and then just wire those two up. Uh, the timings for these are two ticks, three ticks and just one tick. Okay, so just wire this up. Um, you can either do it like that, but, but that means when you're covering over you need to have a block this high 
or you can slow the closing down by one tick and put a repeater there which actually means you can just cover this block easily uh, do whichever you want it doesn't really make a difference so uh, now just the final bit you have to knock out this block here put a torch on that block there so now if we test it with putting all the blocks in make it look a bit nicer okay so now if we test it close is absolutely fine and when we open it it opens absolutely fine now uh, the easiest way to cover it to make the trap less obvious is to use half blocks over the pistons uh, like I've done up here as you can see half blocks there okay uh, thanks for watching this tutorial have a nice day.